I got Canelo, I want to say about three, three years ago. Yeah, I've been with him for three years and we've both been learning. He taught me how to ride a horse and then he wasn't really broken when I first got him. And then like we've both like been getting used to each other. When I saw Canelo, he was a little ugly, little ugly, shorter hair, little like a little chubby. He's really chubby now, but he was like a little chubby. He was a little uglier. Like he had like just gotten a haircut and it was like a little bad haircut. And then I, um, I was like, I mean, it is, it is what it is, you know? And at the beginning, when I first went to go see Canelo, I was like, yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to like ride this horse. Cause like, I like barely know how to like ride horses and everything. And then he like also was like really new to like everything. And then like, he was, he was like dangerous for me. You could say since I was like just starting to like get like to like know how to ride. And then that's where I learned how to ride with Canelo, just like being new to everything, just being cautious with any like weird movement, anything he doesn't like and everything. I mean, I'm still always like super, super excited to see Canelo because every day he's like, he learns new things. He's always like willing to learn. He's, he's taught me how to ride a horse. He's taught me how to be determined, how to like be responsible with my money and then how to like take care of like of like a thing, you know? It's kind of like having like a child a little bit because you always gotta buy new things. Well, I buy him new things, so that, like I like to spoil him. And then he's been like, he's been my best friend because I, I know when I like always come to see him and I get missed treats, he's always like happy to see me as well. It's a little distraction as well since all of like this COVID things have been going on. He's been like my little, like my little help to get through it with like just distracting from like whatever's happening in the world and everything like that. And then he's been, he's been there for me a lot, yeah. He knows when like I'm like not not doing my best. He like bothers me a little more when he he knows. I can tell he knows, and then he knows like when we're good too. And then it's kind of hard to explain like a relationship between like a human and a horse. But like I I can feel like I can tell when he's not in his best mood. And I can he can tell when I'm not like not in my best mood either. Whenever I have like a mental like break day, I try to always come here to the ranch. Whenever I have my day off and feel like I'm stressing at school or anything like that at work, I, I try to come, come see him because I know it's always going to be like a good day when I'm with him.